New details tonight about a fifth grade teacher accused of making a kill list that included her students. It happened at St. Stanislaw in East Chicago, Indiana. CBS 2's Jermont Terry joins us. Jermont. Erica, police are crediting a fifth grader for stepping up and letting school leaders know what he heard his teacher say, making threats to about killing students and also staff. Yet parents, they are not happy with the way this private school informed them of this disturbing incident. Tonight, with permission from her father, you are hearing from one of the children who reported on her teacher. She said that she wanted to kill her middle school friends, her high school friends, and half of her family. Portia Jones recalls the words her fifth grade teacher at St. Stanislaus Catholic School said this week. While in a meeting with her teacher, counselor, and another student, she says the teacher spoke about harming kids too. Then she admitted that she had a kill list. It's not clear if Portia was on the teacher's kill list, but her father is outraged that his daughter is even talking about this. There's other parents going through this too because it's more than just her that go here. It's 23 people in her class alone. East Chicago police say after Portia, the counselor and the second student reported the threats to the principal, the teacher admitted to making the threats and having a kill list. Yet the school let the teacher leave the building. Police arrested the teacher at her house hours later. They should have never let her walk out them doors. They should have called the police right then and there. You let somebody leave who's making accusations and confirming them. Parents are upset with how the school went about informing them of this incident. In an email to parents, the school never mentioned threats or this kill list. She said that these kids get on her nerves so much that she want to kill them. Like, what type of person says that? She ain't mental. She's a teacher. Come on now. Y'all did a background check unless y'all did it. The school tells CBS2 that the teacher was kept in the office until after dismissal and then she was personally escorted off campus. Yet police, they were not informed or called about this threat until four hours after the school learned of it. Now, we are not naming the teacher because she has not been officially charged. However, parents, they say they want to know what names were on that list and more importantly, why it was made. Reporting in East Chicago, Indiana, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News.